Tonic. That is really a great performance this afternoon by his side and a really valuable three points. Yeah, definitely. I think, like, and, uh, obviously, you can imagine there's um, a bit of uh, interest because of the game, because of the uh, previous employers. Um, players coming out of the building. Um, and again, players coming in the building as well, so it was uh, a little bit of interest. Yeah, I'd be saying. Carlo on a fine form, uh, five straight wins. It was important today that our focus was about what's in the building, uh, their roles, jobs, responsibilities, uh, and I think the game took a lot of things. It meant a lot to you at the end there, the big roar towards the supporters in this main stand. Yeah, I think it meant a lot to, work, uh, to me personally because uh, the job that I had at Carlisle meant a lot to me. And then, but then likewise, the next chapter in my career um, is um, my employment uh, at Newport. And I'm sure it means a lot to me. Is this a result to, to settle the naysayers really? Because the club had just appeared to be moving in, in the wrong direction, in the table, players leaving the club. But today, a really good performance, three goals, to just settle everything down. Yeah, I knew before the game today, I spoke to the assistant. I said, uh, the interview after the game, after the game the day, will probably be, potentially be my most important interview. Because of, uh, This time is the time to talk about the music circle and the player coming in and the welcome that he's got, the, the integration that he's uh, found within the within the within the team, which is vitally important. Um, I, I think the, the new team showed uh, from the players that we had. Had a good afternoon, didn't he, George Cox? Yeah, uh, and his motor come. I mean, yeah, it, was, uh, was, it, it wasn't a motor, uh, the emotion, the uh, emotional occasion today. It was, um, the players. Uh, but without, um, I didn't leave any opportunity for the players to not fully understand how important this game today is for me. Uh, and again, that's a reaction uh, that tells you that players uh, are on the bus. It's a great sign, isn't it? They've responded to your call then today. Yep, yep definitely. Um, I told them, I, mean, I told them through the week. The mindset is we don't come off that pitch with anything but a positive result. Given what's happened, and you've talked about focusing on what's been in the dressing room, have you been able to almost close ranks a little bit this week? Well, again, um, not so much because um, the, uh, the Mac Crooks uh, only was finalised uh, yesterday, so it came as a little, not so much a little shot, but it came as a. Uh, we trained on the Thursday, uh, the, uh, the final details, the medicals, and everything like that uh, were completed yesterday, uh, but the players were aware of, uh, that, that Matt wasn't going to be playing the start for us, uh, but it's one of those things. If you've got a player with you know, going up to the championship, jumping up two divisions, uh, the football club being um, rewarded financially, uh, and it's the financial deal that was accepted by the, by the football club. Mm -hmm. It's a good, a good opportunity to wish uh, Matt Brooks well, uh, and say, yeah, going through a career. Uh, proud of the work that you did here, the application that you showed as a professional while you were here, and we wish you well in your journey. But you couldn't say that Crooks all on Voma Miss this afternoon. Your side seemed to play with a lot of cohesion here today. Yeah, I mean, again, it's um, hard work, discipline, understanding, willingness, desire um, and application uh, were there in abundance and again um, we had to weather a storm at times as well when I thought they had better than our pay and we needed to reach off and we could have got the uh, squad that we had there and get them again. Um, when we were probably uh, in a, a day and a half's training sessions on uh, roles and responsibilities that, that, so sometimes we were going to be caught, I think we had a period of about 
15, 20 minutes in the first half where we got our distances running, we got our, we weren't blocking passing lanes, we weren't having people uh, in the right areas to get them to cause them problems to make them play predictable passes. We were able to pick us off uh, at times in the first half about 15, 20 minutes. As the game grew and as we grew, uh, I thought we caused them a lot of problems. Similar pattern, wasn't it, to games we've seen over the last month, really? You played well, you had your, your moments, so did the opposition, but today those moments went in favour of you, doesn't it? You managed to get that first goal and crucially extend the lead, which is something you haven't been able to do. Yeah, and again, I, I think we could have had a few more as well. Mm. Um, but again, you know, they had a few opportunities. You know, there's, there's still work to be done. There's still lots of work to be done within the group this year. Um, and I think it's, um, the important thing is the players, I think they've had a difficult time. Season and then the change of the manager, change of the manager the beginning of the season, not performing, not being where the expected uh, expectations uh, would have said they should have been. Uh, and that does often affect them the change of uh, Again, it's the case, it's been the case of coming in, sometimes uh, body gobbling, sometimes caressing, sometimes boot up the backside type. But again, but what you try and do as a manager is you try and find the right people to boot up the backside and the right people to give a cuddle to. And this now changes the complexion really of the next couple of weeks because sides below you in the table could have been looking over your shoulder but hopefully now this is a, a way to make a bit of progress perhaps. Again, well, everything we do is about uh, progression you know, and, uh, and having a big picture and I think within the next, probably within the next uh, three, four, five days it, it, um, there'll be uh, an opportunity to sit down with a, with a little bit more clarity and say look, this is the plan. Um, this is where we this is where we were at. This is where we want to be. And this, uh, in my belief, is the, the way to do it. Uh, and I, uh, it's like I said today, I knew today was going to be a very, very important press conference because I know the supporters they, um, they want us to do well uh, and they want a, uh, a competitive team, the best um, com com competitive team that they can do out on that pitch. Yeah, I fully understand that. I'm fully aware of that. Within it, if you've got to show, or I've got to show, good housekeeping. Uh, and, and try and make sure that we are in a sustainable position this season, the next season and the season after that for continued growth and progression as a football team that we've got the football league part of. We did that, that's myself, James, the chairman, the, one of the stakeholders of the football club and most importantly the players. Coming to sort of halfway through the January transfer window now, do you anticipate any more movement? Well, uh, yeah. Um, we're, no, we're nowhere near finished um, in the recruitment um, and I think it's important that the players know that they're playing to stay in the team um, and, but within that as well there might still be other people out there that have a look at the, uh, the some of the players and, and again all the boxes are ticked, ticked as in so it's right for me right for the football club right for the player uh, and they might be still might see the movements going the other way Keith thank you very much Congratulations.